关键战役，改变世界，捍卫战士真实英雄，空中突围。Our guys need help, and we're up. 决战三十八度线。Shout out to Adam Makos and just told him, you know, how incredible the book was and how much I enjoyed it, and、uh, you know, I appreciated him taking so many years of his life to dig into it and figure it out, and that it's going to make an amazing movie someday.、Uh, and then I just happened to run into the guy who had the option at a party, and I brought up Devotion, and he had no idea what I was talking about, <laughs> and I was like. This book, and he was like, "Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We, you know, we we're supposed to.、Uh, we did. We actually was sort of just a handshake agreement. I don't think we're ever going to do anything with it." And I was like, "If I did something with it, would you have a problem with that?" He's like, "No." So I emailed Adam, <laughs> and I was like, "Hey, here's the situation. I want to make your movie, or I want to make your book into a movie." And、uh, he said, "Great.、Uh, do you want to meet Tom Hudner?" And I was in New York shooting a movie at the time, and so I. Uh, drove to、uh, Concord, Massachusetts, and spent the weekend with Tom Hudner and his family, and、uh, <clears throat> got to know them、um, really well, and got to talk to Tom about that event, his time on the Leyte, his time with the 32s, and what that moment meant to him, and、um, and then really had to talk to his family and get the blessing from them because they didn't want this story to be ruined. They didn't want his their father's legacy to be ruined, and so. At the end of that weekend,、uh, I got their blessing, and I promised them that I'd make this movie and make it right, and make it at the highest level. And、uh, you know, here we are. The interesting part about trying to describe this movie: you you know you're onto something great when you can't sum it up in a logline.、Um, You know, I think it can be summed up in terms of you know you can talk about Jesse Brown's story, you can talk about the first African American naval aviator, you can talk about what Tom Hudner did、uh, for Jesse Brown, you can talk about the experience of the 32s, the Korean War, you know the Forgotten War. You can talk about, you can come at this story in a lot of different ways, but I think it's such a Trojan horse of a movie because it's a war movie、um, that ends up becoming a love story. You know, really, at the end of the day, it's it's what is the definition of a wingman, and how far are you willing to go for the guys next to you? Tom Hunter is, you know, fresh out of the Naval Academy.、Um, he'd served,、uh, he'd gotten his wings in Pensacola, and you know, is is here in Quonset, you know, hoping for for a shot at war. He just missed World War II and sort of the Greatest Generation, and he's sort of looking. In the future, and realizing there's sort of peacetime in front of him, and no way to sort of prove that he's a man,、uh, no way to prove that、um, that this sacrifice, this dedication to the life in the Navy is, is worth it.、Um, so he's really a guy who's looking for scars, and then accidentally finds them in Korea.、Um, and I think that's the beauty of of that sort of arc for him is that he's a guy who's looking for war and 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 finds it, loses a friend, and really. Regrets getting those scars. I've gotten to work with some really cool people over the course of my career, and、um, when you get to work across from Jonathan, it's magic. It's really special.、Um, you rarely feel the spell of what this、uh, this job can be when when your co-star is that good, and he's really bringing Jesse to life. Ever see a movie like this where everybody is bringing it? In such a major way, and Christina has such a weight on her shoulders. This is this is a very very layered and complicated role that she has to、um, be the love story, and she has to represent the weight of the tragedy.、Um, her arc in this movie is is not easy, not for any actress, not for any actor. It's it's really tough, and she's. She's doing it effortlessly and with with grace.、Um, she's gonna be she's gonna be around for a very long time. When I sat down with JD for the first time, it was like a four hour meeting where we just nerded out on aviation and filmmaking, and you could tell that he's a guy who just cares,、um, and that's something that you just can't discount in a movie like this. Someone who just wants to get it right, someone who just cares, someone who whose heartbeat is gonna is gonna be a part of this movie and this crew,、um, and and 
as as we've gotten into it, you sort you sort of roll the dice on. I mean, this is a big movie, and w when we got here, um, you could see during the script phase how um, small tweaks of the dial in terms of the script that he was so in tune with what the audience needs and what humanity needs, uh, just in terms of in terms of friendship, in terms of race, in terms of romance. It's it's a that's what makes a great director is there it's not a it's not you, you don't brush with like a, a brush this big it's it's something small and detailed and that that minutia is what really defines great directors and JD also does it with a smile on his face which is even more important because the morale of this crew I can't tell you how many people have come up to me and said this is one of the their favorite movies they've ever worked on they they're 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 so grateful to be on this movie not because just because we're telling a story that matters. But I think everyone on this movie looks to JD and sort of his disposition and his talent and really believes in him and really believes what we're putting, putting together here. Early on, everybody talked about all these different titles, about what we could call this movie. And because and, and everybody was like, oh, devotion feels too soft. It feels like a, a, a love story. It feels like a religious piece. And, it's none of those things, but at the same time, it really is representative of of what this movie is, which is, that is what it is to be uh, someone who's dedicated their life to the armed forces, to sacrifice. Um, it's willing to go to the furthest point to fight for the person next to you. And I think that's exactly what this movie is and what it represents. It's 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 a love story to the people at home you're fighting for, and it's it's a love story to the guys that you're fighting across from. I hope people leave this movie wanting to be a better wingman, better friend, better ally, better family member. Uh, I think this movie is going to do a lot of great things for the world, and uh, that's all you can hope for. <laughs>